All right, we're back to show you the uh, procedure for southern fried chicken. And I've got a uh, chicken that I had uh, sitting in the refrigerator after it had been breaded. Again, we soaked it in buttermilk for approximately three hours, uh, redredged it in some highly seasoned flour. And uh, this is what the chicken looks like before it's actually fried. And I've got a, a, a nonstick pan here that I like to fry chicken in. It's got a higher edge on it, which is kind of nice, and a, a real solid base on it gets real even heat distribution and uh, as you can see in the inside I've got it about this deep with just a vegetable canola oil mixture you can use whatever oil you want to use to fry in but we don't want it so deep that you're actually deep frying southern fried chicken is actually done in, in a smaller amount which is what we're going to do today so to make sure that your oil is hot enough first of all we don't want it so hot that it's smoking that's a bad sign and uh, sometimes I'll just take a little bit of flour and just kind of throw that in and once the flour hits the oil and starts to sizzle immediately, uh, some folks like to sprinkle a little bit of water in there and as soon as it pops, you'll know that you're there as far as that goes. So we are ready to go, folks, and I'm going to throw in some chicken pieces and get this going on. And as you notice, it started to sizzle immediately as soon as it hit the oil, which is what we're after. And these uh, cumbersome pieces, kind of like the drumstick and such, we're going to have to turn those with our tongs as they cook along. The flatter pieces will probably only have to turn twice. When I say the flatter pieces, I'm talking this uh, thigh that I just threw in and this chicken breast here. I'm going to throw these skin side down first. So what's going to happen is uh, we're going to let these fry on one side and then flip them over on the second side. We'll come back and show you what they look like once they're done with the frying procedure. What I'm going to do is finish them off inside of my uh, countertop uh, toaster oven here, which is actually a little convection oven and a toaster and a broiler as well. If you don't have that, you can actually finish it off inside the oven. And uh, we'll come back and show you how to do that if you don't have one of these countertop units and need to finish it off in the oven. And uh, we'll also show you the, uh, the partially finished product when we return.